Welcome to our series, Learning from the Experts, Seven Winning Strategies for Building a Successful Data Center Business. Hi, I'm Bruce Taylor with Data Center Dynamics. This series explores challenges executives and managers face when operating a successful data center. In this segment, we hear from Peter Hopper, CEO of DH Capital. He's speaking with Greg Patine, Director of Business Development for the Data Center Service Provider Group at Schneider Electric. The topic is among the most fundamental, how to secure new data center development funding quickly and cost effectively. Efficiently raising capital in today's highly competitive market is critical to success. Let's hear what these two experts have to say. Thanks, Bruce. Peter, let's have some fun. Looking forward to it. Nothing more fun than spending money. Why would you spend $5 million of your own money on one of these companies? few reasons, but I think it all starts with the fact that as you think about a lot of the macro trends going on in the economy today, um, how you use your, your smartphone, how you consume content, all of that information uh, at some point needs to be stored and delivered from a data center. So we see this trend continuing. We see demand for data center space continuing to grow. So it's one of the great areas of the economy to invest in. And when you, what are you looking for as far as returns on your money? Well, it, it depends a little bit on the structure of, of the investment, but generally speaking, equity investors, if you're going to put equity into a, a data center company, you're looking to achieve somewhere between a 20 to 30 percent uh, annualized return on your money, which, again, very compared nice. to other opportunities, very attractive, all goes back to that same idea. These businesses can deliver a lot of growth. And why would you pick one over another? Well, there, there are several reasons. I think when we look at a business plan and sit down with a management team or a company who's looking to raise capital, I think one of the things we're really focused on trying to understand is, you know, are there assumptions around growth and, and the capital that they're going to deploy to build the facility, how quickly they're going to fill the facility up? Does all of that make sense? Um, these businesses, as, as you know, have a, a lot of fixed operating costs, but once you get to that, that level, once revenue gets to that level where you've covered your fixed operating costs, the next dollar of revenue is very profitable. So it really comes down to understanding how quickly can you get to that break even point and then how quickly can you get into the real margin of, of filling the building up. How can you help these companies? We at, at DH can help a couple different ways. Um, certainly on the front end, we can assist in helping build a business plan. Um, if they've already built a plan, we can help sort of review that uh, and understand, you know, are these assumptions accurate? We've worked with so many companies over the years in the sector that we sort of understand what reasonable, you know, assumptions look like. And then uh, when it comes to actually raising capital to help them finance their plan, uh, we can assist in doing that. Oftentimes we can participate uh, in that capital raise ourselves. And then once they're up and running, um, we can assist in raising follow-on capital if they want to expand, enter a new market. And then ultimately, uh, oftentimes we assist companies when it comes time to sell. We represent them and, and help them do that. Would you take a minority interest in one of these companies? Uh, if, if we're ever investing ourselves, we're always minority investors. We always, uh, you know, we're not control investors. They're private equity firms that we work very closely with who are experts in the industry they tend to often be controlling investors in a company. To the extent we're ever investing, we're always a minority investor. Peter, you've been gracious enough to accept three companies to come in and spend an afternoon with you. What can they expect? Well, we can help them in, in a number of different ways. And to, uh, to a large degree, it's going to depend on where they are in their particular evolution. So if it's a company that's considering building a new facility, we can help look at their projections, go over what their budgets look like in terms of building, what their assumptions are in terms of how quickly they're going to fill the building up. We've worked with so many companies over the years in the sector uh, that we're able to bring a lot of that experience to every situation. If they're a little more uh, advanced in, in terms of where they are in their business, we can talk to them about where the market is today, uh, who the interested buyers are, what valuations are currently uh, in the market for businesses like, like theirs. So depends a lot on where they are, but I think given our experience in the business, we can uh, provide a lot of help. Outstanding. Back to you, Bruce. Thanks, gentlemen. And thank you all for joining us today. I hope you are able to gain new insight and value for your data center business from this conversation. On behalf of Schneider Electric, this is Bruce Taylor for Data Center Dynamics. Mm -hmm.